What's up, wrestling fans? We got an absolutely egregious one today. Just a horrible thing. You know, things can happen in the split second. You know, sometimes people make a bad decision or they get, you don't know what's going on in someone's life. But, you know, obviously this is a huge no-no. A uh, fan, you know, I, I like when wrestlers get a little aggressive, you know, with when they're in character. You know, that's what you really want, you know, and you hope to be part of something like that, but not like this. <laughs> You know, um, this is kind of freaky and crazy. Uh, not the moon. I'm talking about the uh, incident with the wrestler the other day. This guy headbutted a wrestler, but the you know the wrestler tipped his cap over. So, all right, here it is. You guys have been asking me all day for this. I saw it earlier today. Well, what's he? Oh man, Joe Black's upset. And oh, the fan he he got headbutted. I like how the fan after he headbutted him and then the the wrestler attacked him back. The fan went for a double leg takedown, but doesn't realize there's a barricade here. So he went for like what looked to be a double leg takedown, but the barricade got in the way. Boom. That is just, that is insanely unacceptable. The guy whacked your hat off your head. You know what I mean? The guy whacked your hat off your head and your response is to headbutt him. Good job, security. Good job by the other wrestler to grab his opponent, I assume his opponent, in the ring to protect him. To, to sort of say, hey, yeah, hell yeah, the fans are helping me kick his ass. This is awesome. I'm going to kick your ass now, too. So it's I love it. You can stay in character while trying to, like, you know, save the guy, right? But at this point, who cares about character, right? Um, but what's good is, you know, it would have been better if some of the security had tried to hold the wrestler back. Because at this point, the wrestler, you know, as a person feels the need to defend themselves, but also as a character feels the need to defend themselves. And I know this sounds dumb to people. I mean, all the character shit's out the window, obviously. This is like, you know, you've been assaulted by an audience member, a dumb looking one. I mean, you listen here, man. I fucking pay head. But, you know, I don't know. He just looks that way. I'm sorry. He looks like, uh, yeah. The guy in the crowd thought he was a jogger. That's what happened. Oh, look at they're coming to blows here. See, the wrestler goes back at him there. But um, the problem here, see, that's why the referee should have been also holding the wrestler back. You know, that way the wrestler could have been like, yeah, I could have killed you. You know, let me go back to my match now. But because no one's holding the wrestler back, he now feels the need of like, yo, I'll get this guy. And he doesn't help the situation. I mean, the fan is at fault. You know, number one, it's all the fans fault. Um, obviously, you know, once you headbutt a wrestler, you know, I don't know, bro. I'm surprised the other fans didn't beat the hell out of this guy. They probably knew him though. I don't know. Hey man, get out of here. This guy's probably telling him right here. That might be security, but he's like telling him like, yeah, you got to go, bro. This guy should have been ejected like quickly. Like they allowed the fan to stand here for way too long to be an in intimidation or to cause more issue. Like, that fan should have been ejected way quicker. They should have immediately grabbed him and got him out of there. Instead of, like, acting like they needed to separate the two. See, that my problem is they're, they're seemingly like, keep them away from each other. No, just get the fan out of here. He now he headbutted the wrestler. Now that's it. He loses all rights in this place and building. That's it. You know? He knocked my hat off. It's like, yeah. They rip up kids' signs. The kids don't jump the barricade and stab them. You know what I mean? Get the guy out of there. And they did eventually get the guy out of there. And I, I have a video of that. I don't know. Who, I, there's so many videos of this. I don't know who originated the video. If anybody from the show wants to come on the show and talk about it, that'd be great. But uh, it's up to you guys. When you're seeing this video, let me know. Yeah. So, okay. So this is the parking lot, I guess, afterwards. Dude, they're still there. What are they doing? Like, I, dude, back in the day, we would have beat the shit out of this fan. This fan would have gotten his ass kicked back in the day. This is why we need to bring back old times, man. We got to get out of the year 2020. The year 2020 sucks. Or 22. It's 2022. In the year 2022, there's a shooting every second from a mentally ill psychopath somewhere. Um, the world's insane. Our presidents are terrible. The politicians are awful. That's kind of always been the case. And we don't, you know, we don't beat the shit out of fans like this. You know what I mean? 
we just separate them like, oh, you know, you could, you know, you really didn't do, you know, yeah, it's both their faults. Nah, this guy would have had street justice back in the day. This guy wouldn't be walking out of this building. This guy would be leaving this building with a busted arm or something. Not saying I love violence or I love that sort of thing. You know me, the, I, I have a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde situation in my head. I want to be Star Trek, but the other part of my brain is like, yo, justice, you know? And so <laughs> this guy should have been obliterated, you know what I mean? Like, and he's, I mean, they're still, they're still going to the outside, you know, to argue about this after the show. It's like there would have been no argument back in the day. This guy would just have a leg broken or an, or an ankle snapped or he would have been knocked out or something. I don't know, man. You headbutted somebody. You know, you got to go immediately when you headbutt somebody. So that, that you know, again, you, you know, re and this, the one thing I will say is, you know, wrestling is a gray area. It is, it is hard to figure it out for some people. You know, the wrestler has to gauge how far he really wants to go with his character. And the fan has to gauge, you know, how far are you going to go? But it, but you can't be the one that goes further because the wrestler needs to protect what he's doing. So if you spit on the wrestler, the wrestler will slap you, and that's it. You deserve that. If you get in the wrestler's face and he slaps your hat off like that, uh, you really want to just take that and sort of be like, how, and like you would think laugh, like, ah, uh, you know. I mean, it's not 1960. So I can see in 1960, the fan react like this, right? Because in 1960, you think these guys are really fighting, and now one of them slaps your hat off, and you get the the beer courage, right? The liquid courage that you're going to do something. I get that, right? That, that means I would love it as a wrestler. You're like, damn, I did my job so good. This guy wants to fight me. This is awesome. But I'm going to break. We're going to break his legs now and kick him out of the show. But now everybody knows this is a work, and you know, you would think you would take this more uh, than he does. You know. So, um, you know, you should know better, but I'm assuming it's beer. I'm assuming alcohol or beer played a part of this and, you know, cause you know, I don't know. I don't think anybody, <laughs> I love the double leg takedown attempt and he takes down the barricade. Oh, I'm going to shoot on you. Oh, good thing that barricade's there. Dude, get this guy out of here. Why isn't this guy just out of here at this point? That Like, they're still worried about the wrestler, too. They're, like, looking back at the wrestler, like, oh, is he okay? Is he going to be, is he coming back? Who cares? Get this guy out of here. This guy's got to go now. No, oh, man, they got to get the fan out of there quick. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, that's it. Don't jump the barricade. Don't attack wrestlers, you dumb idiots. Um This you know, I, I and again, like, you gotta get the guy the big slobbering fan guy out of there as soon as possible. Just a bad security you know, I mean, you know, the whatever. Just the security needs to kick ass and get that guy out quicker. That's my my assessment of this is that. To get the guy out of there quicker. Get the guy out of there sooner. Anyway, I'm Joe Cronin. Uh, subscribe. What do you think about the incident uh, that we've seen here uh, with the fan? Probably just alcohol. I would say security, get him out of there quicker next time. And he's lucky that you know he didn't have his wrist broken and his legs broken by several wrestlers and security. Um, but, yep. Always a dumb move. I'm sure maybe the fan even at this point is like, I was I was drunk. I was being stupid, you know, maybe. Or the guy really sucks. I, or, or I don't know. There's something else going on that we missed that's involved here. You know, I don't know. Um, but either way, leave a like if you guys can. Stick the thumb up there. And if you leave a super thanks, I will pin your comment down below. Super thanks is like a super chat, but you can leave it uh, for videos like this that are not live. Um, and it goes to the channel and the money comes to the channel, except for the 30% that Google takes. But hey. It helps either way. Super thanks down below. I'll pin you to the top. But leave leave your comments, especially if you agree with the wrestler, the fan, whatever it is. I don't know how you could, but maybe there's different takes on this whole thing. Um, let me know. Uh, my opinion is they should have, uh, you know, they should have roughed up the fan a little bit and kicked him out. <laughs> hey, man, I, I'm a, I like the old school shit, you know. 
I, I say, you know, you take a couple shots. You know, I mean, basically kind of what happened to Dave Chappelle, uh, with Dave Chappelle. I mean, this is a little different. I don't think this guy needed to have his arm bent sideways and ripped off and seven bloody noses and whatever that guy. That guy did deserve that. But this guy at the wrestling, well, you know what? Once you throw a headbutt, though, to someone's head, that's dangerous. A headbutt at somebody, that's, you know, I take maybe he, you know, but either way, he nothing happened to him. Nothing really happened to him. He just left with a ripped shirt. But, I, I mean, something should have happened to the guy. You know, a couple of beatings couple of shots you know I don't like violence and I don't want to hurt anybody but you know just a couple little shots to say like yeah don't do that again don't do that again um I don't blame Joe Black at all the wrestler's name is uh, Joe Black I believe um people some people are blaming the wrestler I mean unless there's something else that he did that I'm unaware of I mean flipping a guy's cap off is kind of like a risky thing to whack the audience member's hat you know you could do a lot of things like rip their sign you know, like dump their beer out. There's been things like that that are kind of borderline, like, right? Because you don't know how a human being is going to react. You pour their beer out, you know, you rip their sign up that their daughter who's dying of something made, you know, I, you know, I, you are taking a little bit of a risk, but I mean, I wouldn't expect a friggin' headbutt, like a head on head headbutt by the fan after you flip his cap off. You know, I could see, I could see the fan spitting on him. I honestly could. I could see a fan spitting on him or, you know, trying to slap him back. I could even see that. And I, and if the wrestler moved and, and missed him and the wrestler went, ha, 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 and then got in the ring, I'd find no problem with that. I get it. The fan had an emotional response to having his hat slapped off and he tried to kind of like wave at the guy, slap him a little bit, and the wrestler moved. That I don't have a problem with as much. But if you fully punch someone out or headbutt them, I mean, that's taking it to a crazy level when a guy's playing around with you you know, in the crowd. I don't know. That's my opinion. It's a, it's hard to make that decision in a split second of two seconds after you've had seven beers. Uh, your wife hates you and you're, you know, you've got problems at work and now you're at a wrestling event and some guy just, you know, slapped your hat off your head or whatever. I don't know. But I think the guy should have had a couple of little, a couple of shots. All right. I'm out of here. Leave a, leave a comment. Here's some other videos popping up that you might've missed from me.